a child's parents is the greatest risk he takes, he or she takes in being born. I was fairly fortunate, very fortunate indeed, in uh, my parents. But it's difficult to assign parents a role because that would be artificial. I mean, the care and the love and the avoiding of extremes, either too much love or too little. Uh, the one becomes smothering and the other becomes cold. And uh, it's uh, a certain amount of, of dema great demands on the child, I think, is important without strain, without overstraining it within the measure of the child's own interest, curiosity, and ambitions. I didn't have a choice. See, I was my parents. <laughs> my mother started me on the piano, and I just said I wanted, like, the first time I saw a violin, I thought it was a guitar. So I said I wanted to play that guitar. And then my mom just started me. So many cars here. Yeah. Now we're off doing the Veracini tonight. Veracini? Yeah. Oh, I see. Right after. The whole thing? Uh, I don't think so. Only no. for first and first second? First and second, I guess. Whoa, He's Ma, what are you doing? Ready, go. to feel as if you're attacking me, you know? Right? All right, here we go. Three, four. Are you? Twelve? Yes. Fine. And uh, very musical, good rhythm. Uh, can can you can I just see you hold hold the violin? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now you see the violin is what most people don't realize. The violin is held on the collarbone on this on this bone. I think that this shoulder pad is much too big. Do you want to try it off? Yeah. Yes, now the head looks more natural that way. Yes. And then make much more space between the thumb and the first knuckle. In fact, space is the whole secret of playing the violin. Space between every joint, space between the uh, shoulder and the violin. Now play here. And you mustn't hold it tight, so tight that you pull the violin away. You slide without pressure on the string. Okay. So it's like, have you seen plants that grow in the water? That uh, they're so soft, the limb must move very freely. 
Uh, if you can think about this, because in, t in 10 minutes it's impossible to tell you everything. But just remember, the best use you can make of your time is very, very patiently trying everything until it feels soft, balanced, and comfortable. <laughs> All I know is I enjoy music. I like the expressive aspects, the creative aspects. And I can't deny that I also enjoy the, the life associated with it, the performing, communicating with people. Maybe that's one of the things which really attracts me to music is the communica communication aspect of it. And, and it is a great feeling if you play for an audience and you feel that you've been successful in sharing an evening of music with them. If they appreciate it, they applaud. It's, I really yeah. like it.
And you're studying now uh, in Bloomington. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a wonderful, wonderful institution. Isn't yes, it? I like it very much. Quite extraordinary. Very alert mind you have. Very, Thank very, you. Very good mind. I wish I could do something about the thumb, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you see, when one when one has real talent with a violin, you can play in all kinds of ways, and you can still put it across, as you do. But uh, you could, it could be, could be still better if you could get out of there. You're studying with Gamamian. No, I'm Gingold. With Gingold. Of course, Gingold, I'm silly. I meant, I knew it was another G, Gingold. And he's, he's a wonderful teacher. Didn't he tell you about the thumb? No, he hasn't said anything. Now, how long have you been with him? Three years. <laughs> maybe, maybe he knows better. Maybe he knows better. I don't know, but that would be for my taste. You see, just, just hold on and play. Play anything. What was it? When, when it's there, mm -hmm. it it it, um, it keeps you. It prevents you from getting from getting around because you have so much talent. And I'm sure you can play. Can you play something for us on your own? Some uh, something, one of your pieces. What um, you play? I don't have a pianist with what? me. I'm working on a lot of new stuff right now. I mean, I can play some Bach or something. But yes, well, play some Bach. I'd I like... haven't had a lesson on it yet. Anything? Anything. What, what have you played in the way of uh, pieces with piano? Uh, well, I don't know, Nigun, Scared to Tarantel, or... Yes, well, play a, let's play a bit of that. Because I'm sure, I'm sure you get around the violin quite extraordinarily. And I couldn't judge from this so well. Is you said the Scared to Tarantel? Fast. <laughs> yes, it fast. Let's see. Okay. And it just shows that where there's real musicality and real flexibility, because you get around very often uh, with simply the nimbleness of your young joints and knowing what you want to express, and it all and it comes off. But I think you will find that eventually this thing will, will, uh, will be in your way. Mm -hmm. So just try to... It's not that thing itself, it's not that. It's as it affects the whole, the whole arm. Mm -hmm. But with your, with your agility and your ability, you, you will overcome it all and you will, you will play awfully well. And you are playing awfully well. But I uh, just would like to see it also carried off with the, in perfect style. I mean, by style, I mean perfect technical mm -hmm. style. But it's lovely. I'm very, very happy to have heard you. Oh, isn't that lovely? What this is, oh, is a breadboard made of curly or fiddlehead maple in the shape of a pre-1700 Italian violin with the Wellspring Festival logo here and the, the year on it. The 
uh, board was uh, made by Mr. Ewart, uh, who is at the University of Guelph and is a violin maker in his uh, spare I'm, time. I think that's you. In recent years, Chinese performers of music have astonished the world with their performance of Western music. And next Thursday in Expressions, Voices of China looks at instructions given at the Peking Central Conservatory. A singing student has to learn everything voice production, languages, and interpretation. A voice must be well produced with a very good resonance. European singing is still very young in this country. So it's good that we have audio and video recordings of books of very big help for us. Voices of China in Expressions next Thursday at 9.30 on SBC 12. 